Hello, welcome to Star Family Farm. Take two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have my phone, my, Psalms 34, 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits have been crushed. Um, I will be honest with you, it's been a rough weekend. Uh, I've been playing it, sewing, not really a whole lot of crochet, although I do have a little bit of, that I've been working on. But I had a four-day weekend, and it started out pretty good. Um, so Friday, I had a float holiday that I had to use at work. And um, so paid eight, paid eight hours. I tacked that Friday on, had a four-day holiday. Um Friday, I cleaned out some stuff. I got um, my other sewing machine ready for my daughter. I got some th needles. I cleaned out my sewing box. Um, just cleaning out. Um, I know I had cleaned out some stuff before. I have one tote that's got material, and I want to clean it out and make my sewing tote because it'll be the perfect size for the tiny house. It'll slide right under the bed, and I'll have all my sewing stuff in one place, and she'll have material to play with. So... I wanted to get that done, but I didn't get the material to it done. I did some running, changed the oil in my car, all that kind of stuff. Made a good meal for roommate and I. That evening, RJ was on the rodeo channel, the cowboy channel. I'm sorry. And so I wanted to make sure that I could, you know, watch him. And so I, uh, Pick this back up. I needed something kind of mindless. And so I just worked on the strap. This is the second to the last kit that I got from Mary Maxim, which I haven't worked on in months. Um, but there it is. It's a reversible um, crossbody. I have all the gray done, if you remember that far back. I have the gray handle and the gray part. Now I'm working on... This, uh, I want to say it's like a mint green. This room is terrible for lighting. Um, and I just started the handle. I didn't want to have to count stitches or anything. So I did it. It's like 430. So um, I don't remember how many. But yeah. So I got two rows done. And I am this far from having the third row done. And then I just have... A row of singles, a row of doubles, and a row of singles again. And then I'll be done. But I can sit and work on this while I watched him on the television. So I got to see him on the television. He did really well. Uh, he was like one of maybe four or five to catch. The calves were walking fresh. They'd only been tied like once. They kicked. They strained. They were horrible. But... That's okay, because he ended up placing in the end. Um, it was a three-day rodeo, so you he roped Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday people also roped, but he did manage to bring home a paycheck. They didn't move him too much. So that was a good thing. You know, my weekend was kind of like this. That was high as a kite. Ooh, got to see my son on TV. I'm all happy, you know. Uh, Saturday, we got up. And roommate and I had decided that we were going to go and do a little bit of shopping in Tulsa. I went to Joanne's and I went into one specific thing for one specific thing that um, was on sale. And let me see here. I have it here. It's just, I'm not very organized. Things are a little piley. Um, so I got my organizer for my uh, thread. And it said it would work in a certain tote. Well, Joanne's had that tote. So I've got all my thread in here. And if I bought the shorter spools, you can double how high those are. So you can have, but I just, this is good enough. I like this. Now it came with um, dividers. However, I'm not using the dividers because I've got that other organizer that just sits right down in there to a point where... It's even notched out, if you can see that. There, these little things where the organizers go, the bottom of that tray has notches. 
that fit right in there. So this is good since you're, and I picked it up. It was $43 everywhere else. And Joanne's had it on sale for, I believe it's $21.99 or something. <laughs> um, I did end up picking up some fabric, which we'll get to here in a minute. Uh, but I ended up spending 40 bucks, if that. So I'm good with that. Uh, then we hopped over to Bass Pro and roommate got seats for the boat and stuff that roommate felt was needed. Um, remember that the boat that roommate got is not new. It's just new to roommate. While we were in Bass Pro, so I had looked while I was at Joann's and I wanted some kind of organizer for my stuff. And they wanted $20 for anything bigger. And the big one was on sale. And that's the only reason I got it so cheap. And I was like, dang. But when I was in Bass Pro, I found this. And this is perfect. So if you buy these at a craft store, you know they're $15 or $20. I think the ones I was looking at were $14.99. Almost this exact same size. At Bass Pro, this is $7.99. <laughs> and it does say Bass Pro. It says Bass Pro Shop. It's embossed in there. There you go. But you know what? I don't care. It is an organizer. It has everything. All my cam snaps that are across there in little baggies. The white ones that I have so many of are here. The tools are here. All of this is hardware, and I actually have room to put my zippers if I wanted to. So, yeah. $7.99 at the bait and tackle store. Just saying. So, and they have different sizes there. Um, I was laughing because the one that I have my zippers in, I, I have space in that one to put the zipper, and I think I'm going to just to cut down on it. But uh, the, um, they have them for like, $3.99. The little ones, you know, and they've got little five spaces. And I was like, hmm, I'm going to start shopping my organizers at the bait shop. They can get it pretty expensive at the bait shop, too. It just, if you only buy the Bass Pro ones that are the five, they're half the price of everything else. So we did that Saturday. And then I received a phone call. Um, and, you know, Friday night we're up here, Saturday night's up here, and then it just took a nosedive. Um, a friend of the extended family had two children, boy in college and a boy in high school. Boy in high school made the finals rodeo. Um, the boy in college because his grandparents were older, decided that he would go and get the grandparents and take them the two-hour trip to see the boy at the high school finals rodeo. It was the kid's first time qualifying. They were all proud, you know. Um, so they get through the rodeo. Everything's going good. The college boy and the grandparents are driving home and about 20 minutes from their home, there was a cow on the highway. They hit the cow and of course you can't see cattle. People think, oh, you can see that. Even if it's white cattle, you still can't see it. Um, out in, and this happened between Copperfield and Edna, um, which is where we go to Walmart, okay? But when we say highway, it's just a road with pastures on both sides. There's nothing out in the country. When we say highway, we do not mean the turnpike, the interstate. We mean a two-lane highway. Um, we're, we're not talking huge, four-lane, five-lane. You know, most of the highways through the countryside in Oklahoma and Kansas are two lanes. So, Little highway going home. The college boy was driving. He hit the cow. And it threw him into oncoming traffic. And a semi ran him over, basically. Um, wasn't the semi's fault. 
you know, it, it was just an accident, but in the blink of an eye, three fourths of someone's family was gone. So it was bad. RJ was upset. Of course, I don't take death well. You know, none of us do. We all know we're going to a better place, the spirits, the afterlife, whatever you believe. Um, I happen to believe in Jesus Christ. And I know where I'm going when I die. But it doesn't mean I want to leave this earth yet. It doesn't mean that I want RJ's friends and that to leave this earth. So, um, it's just rough. So that happened Saturday. Um, when I was at Joanne's, I had picked up some fabric and I decided I'm just going to sew, just going to sew. Um, and so I did this here. Okay. So while at Joanne's, I got this bag. I made a Heidi pocket. It, I call them Heidi pockets. I like to be able to see where they are. They're cell phone pockets. I don't want my cell phone lost in my purse. I, I just don't. Keys I'll dig for. My wallet I'll dig for. My cell phone do not make me dig for. Um, I had a little scrap left over, so I made a little wallet. And, uh, yeah. It's really cute. And I did do, and this is, I haven't um, finished off this some ends to be woven in from the serger. So don't look at that. But I did. Now this is the side with the pocket. Okay. So here's the pocket in the back. But I use flexible uh, interfacing over this. And put it over after the pocket was made. I love how finished it looks. I love how clean it looks. Um, I just like it. Okay. I like this one. And um, it's got box corners. I played around a little bit and decided this is what I'm, how I'm going to make them. Um, is there's a box corner. This is a blue one. And it's got the two. And again, it's got the inner lining. And it does not have a little wallet because when they cut it, um, they didn't cut it straight. So a lot of my scrap ended up being a little, because I had to straighten everything out. And so this one doesn't have a little wallet with it because I didn't have the extra fabric. Uh, box corners, again, lined with the flexible interfacing. Okay. And like I said, you can see it best with the pocket because the pocket just disappears when you put it over it. So I kind of like that. <coughs> this one is the one that I played with. Um, I did not use interfacing on it because I wasn't sure what style I was going to do. I uh, not only boxed the corners, but I had made it a little bit um, decorative up here. You know, I had sewn these together to kind of keep it from and just kind of played with it in the snap. Ended up in the end, I don't like it. I do have the pocket. Again, here you can see, um, I don't have the interfacing around it. Yeah. Now you really can see, huh? <laughs> but again, I had enough left over to make a little wallet. Um, I still have to stitch up my openings on the little wallets and put the little cam snap on them. Um, and in the bags, I have to put the cam snaps on them and weave in my surging ends. So, um, I made those two or those three Saturday, uh, after we went to Joanne's and I got that fabric that is actually fade resistant outdoor canvas. It's made for cushions. It feels like a cotton but it is, I don't even know. I should have tested it to see if it was, you know, kind of waterproof. But I didn't. I should have. So, I don't know if it's like waterproof. But it's for cushions outside on your patio. And uh, 
I found three that I thought were cute and went for it. Um, by Saturday night, I again was working on my little thing and I watched the rodeo on the Cowboy Channel. Uh, Sunday, RJ calls and he, he just, he didn't rope very good. He was down and out and uh, he wanted to have breakfast with me. I said, okay. I said, are you coming today or are you coming tomorrow? He's tomorrow. Come tomorrow. I said, okay. I said, I'll have breakfast ready. I said, what time are we doing breakfast? He said, 10 o'clock. And he says, then I'm going to head off to a rodeo about noon. I said, okay. So he decided he was going to come and spend a couple hours with mom. Now, that breaks my heart, but it's it's kind of a jagged edge sword because or double edged sword, whatever you say the phrase is. Um, when RJ wants to come and make him just to come hang out, just to eat breakfast, just to talk, just to be here, no reason, just needs to be near mom. That means he's feeling horrible, and him and I together, because his sister was off in college. And his father was never around. It was always just him and me. When it's him and me now, he feels like when he was a kid again. And it makes him feel better. Um, it, it's like everything's right with the world. And he needed that. So, Sunday I played at, uh, he called me Sunday and said he was going to come. And Sunday I played, a uh, roommate played putting the new seats on the boat that roommate had picked up, um, that kind of stuff. I played and I played with the velour a little, or velour, vinyl a little bit more. Made this little guy. The only thing I don't like is I can see that the corners, I got that when I cut them, they're not perfectly matched. And so I was thinking, and if I do it this way, you'll see, one's just a little bit more pointier. I don't know if I got off the edge or not, but you can see that it's a little more pointy right here. This matches, and then all of a sudden, shoo, and this one goes out. So I don't know if I just got off a little bit or what, but yeah. So I just have to put the zipper in this one, and it is done. So I like it. I think it's cute. I'm debating whether to fix that corner or not. So I made that one. Then I got myself together and I finished up two or three that I had picked up. Um, I finished up this one. I just need the rope handles. The only thing that I didn't do, now this is lined and it has a thicker interfacing. And I'm playing with these interfacings to find the effects that I want. Um, so the only thing that I didn't do is... This center pocket for cell phones, like I said, I hate to lose my cell phone in my purse. I don't want to lose my cell phone. So in the divider for the two pockets, I put a, a decorative little pocket. But I didn't put any interfacing at all. No stabilizer, no anything. And now when you open your purse, it kind of dips. And I'm just not digging that. But that's okay. I mean, next time I'll do. These are ones... That, you know, if I got every one of them perfect, I wouldn't need to make samples and, and I wouldn't get to play if I knew what I was doing. So this one will have a rope handle and it'll be a three pocket and I still have to get the cam snap on it. Um, I have my cam snap back. I just haven't done it. So then I made this one and I don't know. I love this zipper. It's a rainbow zipper and it matches this. This is a mint green with purples that fade to pink. So there's purples in here. This is a dark purple, and then it literally fades to pinks and stuff. And it looks like that marbly effect. So I like this one. Um, this one I did not box corner. I was seeing, <coughs> and I will tell you, that little bit of boxing corner makes them seem bigger. I don't know why, but if you look inside this one, it's got enough room, you know, and this does fit um, my little laptop, so, which is about the size of a tablet. I don't have a huge laptop. And then um, 
of course, I played with a few more, or not really a few more. I, I played with the style of this, um, and I played with different zippers. And I will say, I did a smaller zipper, and I'm not loving it because it seems to hang up in the, even though I have top stitched here, okay, I have top stitched the inner lining, I have top stitched, but it seems like the inner lining comes too close to the zipper, and even though it's even, sometimes it snags, sometimes it doesn't, and it just is horrible. So, if you look inside this one now with the boxed corners, you will see it is much, it seems much bigger, but I think it's because the bottom opens more, and you actually can see more in there. So, that's the effect of box corners. And like I said, I made this one just playing around Sunday. Uh, Monday, RJ came. We had breakfast together. Roommate played around with the boat some more. Um, ended up having to go to a friend's house to help with a freezer or something. I don't remember. Anyway, roommate was being roommate, doing roommate's thing. And, uh, so, I, uh, when roommate got back, I was sewing. When roommate got back, we uh, took some oxidization off the boat and just made it look better. Um, just wax, old-fashioned car wax. Just busy work. Um, RJ was texting me off and on. I didn't want to sew because then I wouldn't hear his text going off. <laughs> And like I said, he, we had conversation all day long. He had spent the morning here um, eating breakfast with us. And uh, so, yeah, and he was just sending funny. He just needed it to feel like it was him and me again against the world. And that always seems to remind him of his childhood, make him feel better. Um, and just it is what it is. Roommate got a call Sunday night from roommate's mom and roommate's stepdad. He's been sick and in and out of the hospital for a while. And he was not doing very good. Uh, hospice was with him. And uh, so they warned that he might not make it. So that was Sunday night. Monday morning, no, that was Monday night, Monday afternoon. I can't remember. It was all when I was trying to cheer RJ up and make him feel okay. And then Tuesday morning when roommate went back to work, roommate got the call that roommate stepped. So again, you know, Monday was great. I spent time with RJ. Yes, our hearts were hurting, but it was just a good overall day and then plummet. So, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday got a little better. Not as high as Friday. Uh, Monday got up there. Got to spend time with my son and blah, blah, blah. And then crash and burn. So, it's been an up-down battle. Friday was great. I love Friday. I want to go back to Friday. Um, but anyway, then Tuesday, you know, when I get upset, I just go to cleaning. So I had cleaned up the entire uh, sewing room. <laughs> this is what we started calling it. It's the office. Um, but I have cleaned it up like there's nothing. There's a sewing machine. There's a thing. Got no table, no anything. And I started working on this blouse right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me. Ugh. I'm going to cut in front of the camera. Sorry. So I started working on that blouse right there. And it is going to have, this is some, I, I started to clean out my material for my daughter, you know, so that she'd have some to play with. And uh, I found this and thought, great work shirt. So, yeah, and I'm going to put some sleeves on it. 
But this is the material right here. It's got pinks and purples and, and believe it or not, greens and navy blue dots on it. So, yeah, it's got all kinds. Um, I have redone the shoulders. I started out with one idea in mind. And I don't know if it's because I was upset or what, but I was just going to do it a very simple box with some swoops. And then I got it on the mannequin and I thought, I don't like it. I didn't like how it come up here. It wouldn't lay. So I grabbed the scissors and I just cut a V. And then I, hmm. And then I gathered the putty with the shoulders some more. And then um, I was going to do a ruffle kind of, you know, fitted bodice with a ruffle around it. Nope jerk that ruffle off. I just had it pinned. Jerk that ruffle off and made it into the belt. So I never know what I'm going to do and it may change again. I have so many things floating around in my head that I just can't get them all out. And one of the things that I have noticed is I have got to make a, a belly for that mannequin because she's got a flat stomach and I don't. And those clothes do not fit the same on her as they do me. And you know, I've struggled with it. So I am actually going to this week take measurements of my body. I'm going to stuff the bra just a little bit more um, because it's not as anatomically correct. Um, and right now I just have it up there. I don't have it puffy. I don't have it stuffed. I just put my hand in there and swoop it out to make sure that it's going to fit. I am actually going to stuff that brassiere. I am, and of course I've still got the t-shirt over it that helps me, you know, but so that it feels like one body, but I'm also going to make a, um, stomach for it. And I might actually add a little bit of padding to the rear, but I am going to make that thing. I've got some muslin cloth and I'm just going to do it with elastic and the elastic will be where my dip is or my waistband is, you know, in between my rolls. And I'm going to make that, I'm going to make it removable and I'm going to uh, put it the size I need and make it more anatomically correct. Because as women who have had children, I don't know about you, but I'm 50 plus years old and I don't have a flat tummy anymore. So, yeah, but I worked on that and I actually went to work. We've had some things going on at work that just had made it a little stressful, but I only have four day. This is Thursday. I think, dang, I'm late recording. Uh, so this is Thursday so I can make it today, tomorrow, and then I get a two day weekend. <laughs> um, but, I do have a couple of funerals um, to attend, and so it's going to be a little rough. But it it is what it is. It's life, and I, I get that, but dang, it gets rough sometimes. So, all right, I'm going to get off here and go get ready for work. That is all that I've been working on. That is how our week has gone. Um, RJ did fantastic. He ended up, even though it was a three-day rodeo, he was in fourth place um, on Friday when he left the rodeo. They had two more nights to go, and there was 20 more people to rope, and it only moved him three spots. So um, he did bring home a paycheck. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get off here. Y'all have a great week. Have a better week than me. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.